I was a noisy, bubbly, playful child. I grew up in a low income earning family, but I was free spirited and nothing really bothered me. I always had friends to play with. My parents did their best to get me into good schools, so I was lucky to get a good basic education. I was always listening to music and I wanted to be a famous musician. I was good in arguments and debates, so I also thought about becoming a lawyer. I had so many dreams before my diagnosis. When I was 16, I developed a neurological condition known as hereditary motosensory neuropathy. It causes my muscles to waste over time because the nerves are damaged and can't carry power to the muscles to work effectively with continuous loss of muscle. It causes pain, weakness, and for most sufferers, it causes issues around mobility. Actually, my diagnosis came by nine years later because my parents could not afford the high cost of an MRI scan. My life changed in many, many ways. The not so good part is watching your muscles waste every day when all you can do is manage it with expensive medication. I can't go where I want to because most environments are not friendly. I've learned to be alone without allowing depression to overtake my thoughts. I've lost and found friends since my NCD journey started. Living with a non-communicable disease has slowed me down, but I remain hopeful. Advocating for people living with non-communicable diseases has given me a reason to stay strong every day. My journey as an activist started in 2007 when I joined Sheke Ghana after seeing the director on television. She was sharing her lived experience and how she had started an NGO to bring light to autoimmune and neurological conditions. I described my lived experience which was new to many people. My advocacy journey broadened and strengthened when I got in touch with the Ghana Non-Communicable Disease Alliance. I was part of the team that developed the Ghana Advocacy Agenda for people living with non-communicable diseases. And I recently became a peer trainer to help people living with non-communicable diseases develop their confidence to speak about their own lived experience to affect change. Now I'm an advocate both at Sheke Ghana and the Ghana NCD Alliance. We owe it to ourselves, our families and our communities to put an end to non-communicable diseases. We need to rise and say enough NCDs. We are the future and it's our responsibility to secure it. Sending love to all people affected by non-communicable diseases across the globe. Take every opportunity to share your lived experience so we can raise awareness on non-communicable diseases and achieve healthy lives for all.